Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to create an equal interval grid. So here you can able to see I have created a five kilometer equal interval grid. So we can able to create this grid in ArcGIS as well. So we'll learn how we can able to do these things in ArcGIS and as well as in QGIS. So for that, what we require, suppose you have this area and you are interested to create a five kilometer grid okay, 5 kilometer or 5 kilometer or 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer. It is depend on you how much distance you want. So you can take any file or any area. You can take polygon or you can take raster file, any file you can able to take. And after that, when you take the file, you can able to add layer from here. Just layer, add layer and add raster layer or you can add vector layer. After adding a layer, you just need to go to this processing tool, in the processing tool, there is option create grid. So in the create grid, you will see there is option showing you want to create a grid for a point, line or rectangle. So I want to create a rectangle grid. So I'll take a rectangle. Then extent means how much area I want to cover. So I want to cover this much of area. If you are having a polyline shape file or polygon, if you are having a polygon shape file, then you can able to add a polygon here. So I'm adding this click here, then calculate from layer, just select this projected topo, this file I'm selecting here. After that, the distance, how much distance we want. The most important thing is that your topo sheet or what are the layer you are adding, it should have a projected coordinate system. Okay. If you'll see here, this file is mostly projected in the UTM zone 43. So like that, whatever you want to create or whatever the grid you want to create, you should have your file in a projected coordinate system. So this file is a projected coordinate system. So I'm interested to create a like a grid. I'm in five kilometer. I will select the horizontal spacing and vertical spacing. Also, I will create a five and here I will select a kilometer. I want five kilometer into five kilometer. And then this projected coordinate system should be same as we are given in the topo sheet. Then where you want to save this file, you can save your file, but I will just go by default. I will just click on the run option. So it is saying that the algorithm create grid and click on the close option. So you can able to see, I have created this grid. So this five kilometer grid is created. So if you want to hollow this, you just need to right click and properties. Here is the option. We can select apply and okay. So this way very easily we can able to create a grid with equal interval. You can able to get an attribute table as well. If I'll right click open attribute table. If I'll select it, you will see this grid is highlighted here. So this way very easily we can able to create equal interval grids. So how to do these things in ArcGIS that we'll see. So to do these things in ArcGIS, we'll go to ArcMap. So let, I will take the grid here. Okay. I'm interested to create a grid for this projected topo sheet. Again, in the search toolbox, we'll select the same create grid tool. So grid, we can able to generate grid index. Then output location means where you want to save this grid. So I'll go to folder and here I will save by the name of grid two. And then I want extent. Okay. So I will provide this projected topo sheet. And then here is the distance like five kilometer width, then five kilometer height. And then I will select here in kilometers. Then after that, all things are optional. I will just click on the OK. So this way, very easily, we can able to add these grids into ArcMap as well as in QGIS. So it is very easy. You just need to add the layer. You just require an extent. Okay. So when you will add any extent, like suppose I'm having this DEM file is there.
Okay. I'm having this dem file and I'm interested to create a grid for this. Okay. Then what we can able to do, we just go to create a grid and just select a polygon and the extent we need to select as the same as this PRJ2 and this should be projected. If you'll right click, then this is projected in 43. After that the spacing, I want suppose 10 kilometer into 10 kilometer here. So I will add 10. Then after that, select a kilometer here. What are the unit you want? You can select here. And after that output location and just click on the run. So the grid is finished. So if you line check, you can able to see we have created a grid for this. Just right click open attribute table. Apply. Okay. And now if you want to save this, you can save this file, right click. Then export save file as if you forget to save the moment when we creating a grid code that time again, you can able to save this file. Then you can provide your location where you want to save your file and just click on the OK. Then again, you can able to save this file. So it is very easy to create a grid. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.